this isn't my first sheep hunt, but they never get easier. Jimmy puts him down here in about 15, 20 minutes for a long time arrival. The loneliness you feel out here is something most will never experience. No phones, no grocery stores, life and death, and that's pretty much it. When that loneliness sets in and you realize how far away from home and the people you love really are, that's when you gotta have something else to turn to. Hey everybody, welcome to Bow Life. We are kicking off this year in a very special way. Me and a good friend of mine, David Hauser, are headed to Northwest Territories to hunt doll sheep with a bow and arrow. An absolute dream hunt. And after flying for a couple days, we are finally in base camp and we're gonna get unpacked, shoot our bows, and hopefully one of us is gonna get out on the mountain tonight. That's the one going in my sheet first. All right, guys, well, we got into base camp earlier today and we knew all of us weren't gonna get to go out, but looks like David and Jameson are up first and uh, he's on the chopper ready to go. So we're gonna back out of here and let him take off. It's almost nine o'clock at night and uh, we're waiting on the helicopter ride still. So don't get dark till about 11. We're hoping he gets here in time to get us both out or get me out and then he's gonna come back and get Hunter. Uh, we gotta wait 12 hours before we can hunt. So when we land in camp, we gotta wait 12 hours. So it'll be late tomorrow morning before we can actually start hunting. So I'm ready to get going. We've been sitting in base camp for a while, so. You know, the heaviness of an adventure hunt like this, like a sheep hunt, really doesn't set in until, like right now, when you're on that chopper and you're on your last step, the last leg of the journey until you're in the heat, um, in the mix. And that's where we are here. You know, our next step is setting up tents, spike camp, and then the hunt begins. And um, when that chopper leaves you there, that's your ride, that's your last, communication, your last link to uh, civilization. And um, we're possibly here for a couple weeks, but we're here to get the job done. We're excited and anxious at the same time. So our plan today, just go down this valley and what we can see back up in the basin. Yeah, we'll walk down the creek here and Look along this wall and hopefully find those rams. Yeah. And wait for them to get to the spot we can get to. Hopefully they're not up in the snow. Yeah. Well, 
guys want to eat something? And sure. Then we can hit the mountain. All right, sounds good to me. Yeah. There they are. Down on their low. One thing I've learned hunting sheep is that the weather is constantly changing. And just because you wake up to sunshine doesn't mean that's what the day's gonna bring. And this day was no different. As soon as we found the rams we were looking for, the snow started to fall. And within minutes, we had zero visibility. We had to make the call to hunker down and wait out the storm. And David, just a few miles away, was making that same call himself. All we can do at this point is wait and hope the storm ends. And when it does, hope we can find these rams in a good position to stalk. guys as you can tell it looks a little different than it did about an hour and a half ago as soon as we spotted those rams a big snowstorm hit and uh, we just had to hunker down you couldn't see 50 yards but it's cleared out now we found the rams again they're just bedded there's four of them bedded right at the base of a big cliff so not sure what we're gonna do yet but it just now lifted, so hopefully it stays that way. It's going to be sketchy, but we got to get to the base of that mountain around here and then come in underneath them. Got a good wind. I just wish the sun would go behind a cloud or something, but we got to move. They're on the move. We just walked right up on a big grizzly. I spooked all around. I mean, face to face with a big grizzly. Broke the camera. We're trying to get out of them willows. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't see him come out. He's still in there right there. He's, he's under 100. We're calling it a day. That was uncomfortable. I nice. broke his camera running. <laughs> it's funny now. It wasn't funny then. Mm -hmm. The bear come out the bottom of the drainage. So. Second big grizzly we saw today, but that one was face to face. And luckily for us, only one of the rams got a little spooked. And then they calmed right back down. And they're still right in the same place, but we're running out of light, so we're gonna head back to camp, try to piece this camera back together, so. What do you think, dude? I'm getting the full Northwest Territories experience, that's for sure. Is there water left in that? Uh, no. Um, this is like you said you pasty. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. <laughs> Even better. Day two, we're hiking down the valley to try to find this band of rams again. And when we finally spot them, they're actually a ridge closer to camp, eye level with us. The only way they have to go from here is up. So we have to swing all the way back around, get the wind in our face, and literally try to get above them to cut them off. And when we get as close as I can possibly get to them without spooking them, I'm literally picking up rocks and stuff and moving it out of my way 
uh, so I don't make any noise, I don't step on it, and we just have to sit down. And if, if I'm gonna kill these rams today, they're gonna have to make the next move and they're gonna have to come to us. That feels so good, dude. That feels so good. We waited forever. We made the most perfect stalk. Oh, the Lord's good, man. I didn't deserve that, but I sure appreciate it. Look at that, 101 yards. Absolutely. Couldn't have stuck it in there no better. I mean, a monster ram. Way past full curl. Look at that. That's why I keep coming back, Hunter. Bad as it sucks, the reward outweighs it. What a giant, dude. What a giant. <sighs> Ryan? Congrats, man. I can't believe it, guys. I mean, what a beautiful ram. This is the same ram we were coming after yesterday when we ran into the grizzly, but big, long, way past full curl on this side and then broomed off on this side my first animal with the new Matthews and uh, for everything to come together and do a ride it's pretty special super thankful to make it count just a beautiful nine-year-old ram here in Northwest Territories